After years of delays, the trial for the murder of model Juliana Redding is finally getting underway. The Fox 11 Investigates team has gotten its hands on explosive court documents, documents that suggest there could be more to this murder than meets the eye. Phil Schumann reports. Juliana Redding, she seemed to have it all. Looks, talent, ambition. She'd moved to California, like so many young women, to chase her dreams of stardom, only to have it all come to a sudden and violent end at the age of 21. No one should have to die that young, and no one should have to die in that kind of manner. It was just after 6 in the evening, March 16, 2008. Juliana's mother, alarmed that she hadn't heard from her daughter, asked police to come check on her in this small Santa Monica bungalow. When they finally got inside, they found her dead, lying in her bed, She'd been strangled. One clue proved to be crucial. DNA evidence found on Juliana's badly bruised neck. It was left there by a woman. But who? Why? Investigators interviewed her father, Greg, and a picture emerged. A business deal gone bad between the father and his daughter's ex-boyfriend, a doctor named Munir Ueda. A red flag, because just five days after Redding canceled that deal, his daughter was found dead. Redding also told detectives that Ueda bragged to him about a female James Bond type who worked for him. Her name was Kelly Sue Park, described as a debt collector and enforcer. Investigators followed Park, hoping to get a sample of her DNA, and were in luck when they nabbed a discarded cigarette butt and matched it to the DNA evidence on the victim. Now, more than five years after the crime, Park will stand trial for Redding's murder. As for the doctor... The day she was arrested, he left the country. Take him out of the equation, and Juliana would still be alive today. Mitchell Mora is an independent news producer who's been looking into Ueda. He agrees the only connection between Park and Redding, as described in these court documents, is the doctor. He's not been charged with a crime, but investigators believe that Park killed Redding on behalf of Ueda, and Mora can certainly believe that. About eight months before Juliana was murdered, I got in contact with a, a woman who had been dating uh, Ueda. And uh, the thing that got my attention about her from the moment I met her was the sheer look of terror in her face. She gave him these photos, told him Ueda had poisoned her. I started investigating him. Right away, I saw someone who had a really shady past. Allegations of bank fraud, pharmaceutical fraud, workers' compensation fraud, right here in the court records. And according to prosecutors, though he's believed to be in his native Lebanon, he's made sure to pay big money to Park's attorneys, who've managed to delay the case for years, but not any longer. This neighbor of Redding's, who was only 13 that night, won't ever forget it. She was always very friendly and always very kind and almost loving. She says neighbors heard the screaming. It's kind of scarring, you know, hearing someone crying out for pain. And knowing the fact that their crying out for pain was real and they didn't survive. We'll, of course, never know if Redding would have realized her Hollywood dreams. She was on the way, though, had made it into Maxim magazine, got a part in a movie, was dating Cougar Town actor Brian Van Holt, who she saw the night before she died. She also starred in this music video. Now that video pays tribute to her. I love the Hollywood dream. There's chances for your dreams to come true here. To have something like this happen, it's heartbreaking. When I walk, you walk with me. Kelly Sue Park is currently out on bail on a three and a half million dollar bond. That trial starts Monday and we'll keep, a, keep an eye on it.